Hello, what's up guys? I'm Ann from Pesa Smart PH here and welcome to a new episode. Shout out din sa mga podcast listeners. Kamusta kayo? So today, we're gonna discuss how to get started in the stock market. So first, quick market news lang. This article is from Philstar Global. So, sabi dito, index tumbles as investors take weight and see stance. Uh, that's what I do then. Like, di ako masyado mabili the past week. I think the past two weeks na. Kasi parang stay lang naman yung prices and tumataas siya. So, uh, hindi talaga masyadong ideal uh, bumili. Since, yun nga, makita natin yung parang bottom prices. And, uh, we're still not sure kung bababa pa ulit siya dun sa level na yun or like ganito na talaga siya like mabagal na pagtaas okay so the benchmark PSEI opened the week on a sour note ending 14.53 points or 0.26% lower at 5450.45 but not really that bad kumpara nung March likewise the brother all shares index slip by 8.01 points to settle at 3342.72 and majority of the sectors however were up led by the mining and oil services property and industrial sectors total value turnover was thin at just 4.067 billion pesos market breadth was negative with 112 losers and 88 gainers, while 32 issues were left unchanged. Traders said market investors continue to wait for clearer signals on how to address the coronavirus disease and how the economy could survive a further extension of the enhanced community quarantine until May 15. Many in the business sector are feeling the uncertainty as the quarantine continues to be in place. Some listed companies are also already riding off 2020 and seeing negative growth or loss. The PSEI opened lower yesterday on normal selling as buyers stayed on the sidelines to get a feel of the sentiment. After the first few hours of trading, investors realized that selling pressure was slight which signaled them to come in. Prices moved higher toward the end of the trading session which allowed the main index to end at its high for the day. Selling pressure may have been light at, as most Asian markets were moving higher. The recent move by the Bank of Japan was expected but nonetheless improved the general sentiment, said Chris Mangan of AAA Securities. Okay, so... Lagi ko na lang yung link nung article sa description sa baba. Then, move on na tayo sa topic natin. So, yung first uh, step is to Google Stock Market. Yeah, it's that simple. <laughs> Today, you can have almost all of the resources you need to learn something new online for free. Yeah, uh, ikaw na lang tatanungin kung ano yung gusto mong platform or kung ano yung gusto mong resource. Ikaw na lang yung mag-filter out kung ano ba yung uh, para sa'yo, sa tingin mo, is a reliable source. Di ba? And yeah, it's up to you which resource you'd want to consume. So, iba books. Yan sila mas mabilis sa tututo. Then, audio books. Yung iba kung gusto nila pakinggan yung libro. And then, videos. I think that's one of uh, my preferred uh, platforms or mode on how to learn. And then podcast yan. Isa pa rin sa preferred ko. Books. Uh, okay lang. Nagbasa ko nung uh, I read a few I read few books previously and then audio books. Hindi ako masyadong nakikinig. Then, ito. Pag ginugol nyo yung stock market, makikita nyo dito. Ang yung top stories is uh, like about sa US. So, uh, you can also read that para magkaroon kayo ng idea but yeah that's just news and then dito sa right makita nyo yung uh, meaning ng stock market by wikipedia uh, and then uh, stock market books and ito yung the intelligent investor which is highly recommended uh, by Warren Buffett I personally haven't read it yet but 
yeah uh maraming uh maraming investors and mga experienced investors na sila na sa tingin nila this is a must read lalo na pag sisimula ka pa lang so I think I should read that as well and then kung scroll down ka pa sa baba makita nyo dyan new stock market business CNN and then yung sa Wikipedia and then sa Investopedia and then yung PSE so yeah basahin nyo lang yung um, basahin nyo lang yung mga yan uh, yung available resources online and magkakaidi na kayo kung ano ba talaga yung stock market and kung para sa inyo ba siya Okay, so the next step is to open an online broker account. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung uh, kung paano mag-open ng account sa BPI Trade, ililink ko na lang yan sa taas doon sa I, top right ng video. Check out nyo na lang. So, syempre recommended uh, platform ko is BPI Trade. So, bakit nga ba BPI Trade? I've been using it Uh, since December 2018 uh, dyan ako nagsimula mag ano mag mag trade at uh, well yeah can say trade pero yeah hindi pa naman ako nagbabenta na kahit anong stock so uh, dyan ako nagsimula mag invest and then if you have a BPA account this platform is for you say walang fees pag magta transfer ka ng funds and uh, pwede mo siyang enroll dun sa Uh, online platform ng BPI BPI Express Online I think yung tawag and ano pa ba uh, pag binuksan mo yung account basta yung BPI uh, back account ka hindi mo kailangan mag transfer agad ng funds pero syempre eventually gagawin mo rin naman yan so yeah pero kasi yung ibang platforms kailangan mo mag deposit like parang 5,000 10,000 25k something like that So, you should definitely check out BPI. Lalo na kapag uh, may BPI account kayo. BPI bank account. And then, yung next one. Ito yung other options. Call. First Metro Sec. Real Stocks. And BDO Nomura. So, yung mga links na itong uh, online brokers na ito. Lalagay ko na lang din sa description sa baba. Para you can check them out. And then, uh, dito nakalagay yung uh, pics ng fill pad. Link ko lang din yan. So, uh, yeah. Fill pads best stock brokers in the Philippines. And then, the next step is to define your goal. So, syempre, huwag ka lang lagi mag-ponder. Huwag na laging, ah, eto, nagpo-plano ka. Tapos, hindi ka naman, ah, wala kang actions na gagawin. Doon sa goals na yun. So, yeah. Ah, okay pa rin na, na define mo siya sa simula. But, ah, make sure na you'll take action immediately. So, yeah, ask these questions lang. Why do you want to invest? Do you have the financial capacity to invest? How much can I invest? How much are you willing to invest? Is my goal for the long term? Is it for the short term? Yan. Uh, kasi uh, yung investment vehicle na to. Pwede siyang short term lang. Kung gusto mong mag-trade kung trip mo yan. Pero yeah, hindi siya well for me. Hindi siya advisable. Uh, and then yeah, if long term, uh, the stock market is for you. Definitely. Lalo na pag yeah, may extra money ka lang and wala ka ginagawa. Uh, doon sa pera na yun and wala akong planong gawin hindi mo siya planong gasusin like nakasave lang siya eh, it's better to put that money sa stock market lalo na sa mga different paying stocks na may potential din na uh, mag gain so yeah magkakaroon ka ng capital gain for some time and then yeah what is your runway and then the next step is to research companies yan yeah. Dito ako mimili ka na ng stocks na bibilin mo. Basically. So, kailangan mo i-research yung company na yun. Ano ba yung ginagawa nila? Ano ba yung nature ng business? Sino ba yung leaders nila? Uh, maganda ba yung uh, investor sentiment ng mga companies na yun? Blue chip stocks ba sila? So, yun, yun yung mga basic 
na kailangan mong hanapin. Siyempre, di ba, kunyari, buibili ka ng ano, bagong sapatos. I-compare mo yun sa ibang brands, di ba? For example, tripan mo yung Nike. Tapos, biglang may nakita ka na, uy, parang ito, similar ano, design. Tapos, gusto mo lang pang running, di ba? Ano, ano ba yung purpose kung bakit mo bibili yung item na yun? Then, nakita ka ng, ano, ng alternate na brand. For example, Adidas. And then, nakita mo, uy, this is uh, 1,000 pesos cheaper than the... Uh, than the Nike option. So, di ba, it would make more sense to buy uh, yung Adidas sa sapatos. So, ito. Companies, syempre, may mga competitors dito na kumpanya. And then, yeah, may mga sectors like mining, services, mga ganun uh, sectors ng mga companies. So, you can just research them and yeah, apply nyo yung due diligence para ah, talagang yung mga trip nyo lang na stocks yung binibili nyo. And ito yung uh, few examples. So San Miguel, Cebu Park, PS Bank, Jollibee, Maxis, meron ako niyan lahat. So check nyo dapat kung anong current market price. And i-compare nyo yan sa 52-week low and 52-week high na prices. So yeah, i-assess nyo lang uh, okay bang bumili at this time dapat ba magantay ka pa ng konti pero syempre kung ano ka naman kung parang parang low activity investor lang talaga ah uh, yeah, just be consistent every month kahit hindi mo na masyado pansin na yung prices uh, just do it and yeah, mag-apply dun yung peso uh, cost averaging na strategy And yeah, it will pay you dividends din naman in the long run. And yun, check nyo rin yung dividend yield. Uh, yeah, mas ako, personally, mas na-attract ako dun sa mga companies na nagbibigay ng dividends on a yearly basis. And then yeah, meron din silang potential uh, to increase in prices. So, magkaroon ka capital gains eventually in the future. If gusto mo siya ibenta. Pero yeah, I think I don't, yeah, I don't plan to sell any of, any of my stocks like kahit kailan <laughs> so yeah gusto ko talaga yung mga dividends and then yun check nyo yung financials uh, dito naman like check nyo lang kung ano yung value ng uh, company talaga and then uh, tingnan nyo kung malaki ba or maliit yung long term debt nila kasi uh, ideally uh, dapat medyo mababa lang siya Siyempre yung utang, eh. kailangan nila bayaran yun uh, after some time. So, paano pag hindi kumita yung, ano, yung company? Like, first, for example, 20 years, kailangan nila bayaran yung utang nila. Then, for 20 years, ni sila kumita, di ba? So, ano mangyari sa business? And then, the next step is to purchase your first stock. Yan, ganun lang siya simple. So, uh, remember to set a limit order para kung ano lang price na gusto nyo. Doon lang siya bibili nung, uh, doon lang siya ma-fulfill. Don't forget about that. And then set the term or validity of your order. So yeah, basically ano lang yan, day, good till week. So for one week goods yung uh, order mo until ma-fill. And then good till month, yeah. Yung uh, GTM, hindi ko, masyado, ko siya masyado ginagawa. Yung good till week, uh, usually ginagawa ko siya dati. Pero ngayon laging day lang if gusto kong bumili kasi yun. Lagi nga nagpa-fluctuate yung prices. So, kailangan mo rin i-check yung, um, yung current market price and trends para, you know, update ka sa prices and di ka masyadong bumibili ng, you know, matataas or overvalued na companies. Then, wait for your order to be filled. And then, after that, pag na-fill na order mo, yeah, congratulations, you now own your first stock. And then, if gusto nyo makita kung paano bumili ng una nyo stock, gamit yung BPI Trade. Check out nyo lang yung I sa taas, top right corner. Link ko na lang dun yung video. So, recap tayo. First step is to Google Stock Market. Sobrang basic lang. Then, open an online broker account. Three is to define your goal. Mahalaga yan. Number four is uh, research your companies, yung interested na stocks na gusto nyo bilhin. And then, yeah, eventually purchase your first stock. Yan. 
Sobrang simple lang 5 steps. Uh, hindi siya komplikado. Then, that's gonna be it for the episode. Like and share nyo na rin if natripan nyo yung content ko. Every Tuesday and Thursday tayo nag-upload. So, you don't wanna miss that. So, let's end with this quote from Warren Buffett. Sabi niya, opportunities come infrequently. When it rains cold, put out the bucket, not the thimble. So, yeah, always grab the opportunities na uh, nakuha nyo. Always take it. And yeah, take the risk. And sabi nga ni Garvey, kapag ka, yun, nag-take ka ng rest. Kapag, ano, pag tama ka, di ya. Yeah. Uh, you win. And then kapag uh, mali ka, yeah, it's, it's a lesson. Alright guys, thanks for watching and listening. Sana may natutunan kayo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember, be peso smart.